Hi, beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Aquarius, this is your mid-month reading. <clears throat> it's for the month of July. Uh, and we're going to go into four weeks into the future. So it's mid-month July until mid-month August. And it's a really powerful, powerful uh, time, Aquarius, because we have <clears throat> the super moon in uh, mid-July. And we have the full moon in mid-August. And in between there, we have the Lion's Gate happening on the 8th of the 8th, which is a really powerful por portal. So this whole, this whole chunk of time is quite charged. So just keep that in mind for this upcoming couple of months and also for what's going to come out here in your reading. <clears throat> we're going to get all the cards on the table before we really get into the energy. First one out is Dragonfly. Ooh, I haven't seen this one for a bit. Dragonfly is the first one out. We're going get, to get the clarifiers on the table. We're going to get everything on the table. And then we're going to dive deep into the energy. <clears throat> if you like this part one, I invite you to come to part two of this reading. If you feel like you res resonate with that, you're so welcome there. Second card for Aquarius, thank you. And third card for Aquarius, please. Ooh, face your fears. Something's coming up to the surface. We have a lot of moon cycles there in the back as well that ends with a wish fulfillment. So maybe follow something with the cycles here. You know, all these super moon and full moon <clears throat> energies uh, are just very much about result. It's result driven, it's manifestation, it's coming full circle. It's, it's, it's when something has sort of have its full course. So we have a full moon. The moon has become full. So it's really beautiful there to follow those moon cycles and to have a wish fulfillment at the end of that. But there might be something that scares you on the way there. It might be fears coming up to the surface, which is a good thing. It might not always be comfortable, but it's still good. Third card out for Aquarius, please, mid-month. Third card out, please. Choices. With a grand moon in the back there. Fiery elements there, I feel. <clears throat> Choices. Okay, let's clarify these. So the, dra the dragonfly. Live your life to the fullest is what it says on the bottom. Very earthy, very Mother mother Gaia. Uh, why is this here for Aquarius, please? Dragonfly, why is that here? Dragonfly for me represents so much spiritual evolution, spir spiritual growth. It can even be like a hybrid situation that you're... Uh, switching up your DNA. Suffering in silence. Interesting to have that come out underneath the dragonfly. Suffering in silence. So let's see what that is about. And then face your fears. Who are you? Aquarius, what is going on? Heartache and loss underneath, uh, underneath face your fears. <clears throat> wow, and then choices. Why is choices here for Aquarius, please? Power. Finally, some good energy there. Okay, we're going to start here with this first one. So that's very mixed energies here. So dragonfly, live your life to the fullest, together with suf suffering and silence. It's almost a calling. Like I see this. So see, this is you, Aquarius. You're sitting in this creek, uh, very one with the earth, uh, very connected. So it's not, I, th I don't think that that is an issue. And then it's like, you know, I had this butterfly just the past couple of days. This butterfly has almost like been attacking me. <laughs> it, has a, it doesn't attack me, but it feels like, you know how butterflies are. They're just sort of just flying around and, and bothering no one and just really keep, keep keeping their distance is what I feel. 
And this butterfly, and it started just last week, I think. <clears throat> and one of my sisters also had this interaction with this butterfly. And it just happened yesterday again that this butterfly just sort of came out of nowhere and, and scared me a little bit. That it was like so in my face. And then it almost followed me around and like was really close there. So I feel like this is sort of the same. It's a, it's a call. It's a, they're calling you out or they're, they're really search for your attention here. So I feel like, the, like this dragonfly is almost coming to sit down. Like they're flying in to sit down like, oh, and you're, it's like almost like a surprise. You're holding up your hand to just, oh, hi, little creature. Just please land here. And it's like, it's, it's uh, showing you something. It's showing you a path. It's showing you, it's calling you out. Like, come on, uh, step into this thing. Step into this light. Step into this path. Um, let's go here. Let's do this. And a dragonfly, if you notice in this image, it's not a dragonfly. It's a fly with dragon. It's sorry. It's a dragon with fly wings. It's a dragon with fly wings. And it's talking about the hybrid. It's talking about the blend between new and old between like if we talk about a, a hybrid car, like you pr probably put st still put um, uh, petrol or gas in it and mixed with electricity. So that would be like the hybrid. And so we have like an old way of doing things and a new way of doing things uh, combined in one. And I just feel like you're emerging into this new version of yourself, this new being with probably an upgrade of, I just feel this upgrade of DNA, an upgrade of DNA, enlightened path. And you're being, I don't know if you're a little bit scared. I mean, we have face your fears and we have heartache and loss. We have suffering and silence. These are not light energies. And so there is something, <clears throat> something's weighing you down or you've been through something. It feels quite recently. It feels not like a couple of years back. It feels quite recently, um, or recent or however you pronounce that uh, grammar wise. It can literally be that an animal kingdom is calling you out, like to to bring you forward, to ha not have you be stuck in your past. You are not your past story, right? You know that, right? Right? <laughs> Answer me. You know that, Aquarius. You're not your past story. You are your present moment and whatever you decide to be in the future. You are your present moment. And there's something about like longing for a better future, longing for a brighter future, but feeling a little bit stuck in the rut or like not really, you probably want this upgrade and you probably are headed towards, towards this hybrid situation, but feeling a little bit stuck because you're still in old memories of the past, old behaviors. And, and I mean, I'm no better, like who, who isn't? Uh, but that is the, that is the point. That is the, this is what's going on here type of thing. Then we move for, for, forward to face your fears. Like there's really nothing to be afraid of. Like if you just allow, there's hurricane, hurricane loss. You've, you've been through something here, uh, Aquarius. And it, again, I feel like it's quite recent. Or at least if the incident was a couple of years ago or, or the situation that called for you to feel left outside, uh, abandoned, like your, your heart was going to break. Like th this is a situation where it's like whatever you're trying, it doesn't really work. It's a feeling of disappointment and sadness and it's not really fun. And the very incident itself could sort of have taken place a couple of months or a couple, even a couple of years ago. And this is the residue. These are the feelings, the emotions that probably has been pushed down a little bit. Like we're, we have not recognized those feelings or we have, we have not dealt with them. Dealing with them intellectually is a completely different thing. Just because you've been thinking, you might, you might argue and say, I've been thinking about this like ever since it happened. Every single day it's on my mind. The fact that it's on your mind doesn't mean anything. Your mind is going to play that trick on you as long as you don't do anything about it. And I might sound a little bit harsh here now, but it's, it's about allowing for those emotions 
allowing for those memories, allowing for those attached situations in your body to just come to rise to the surface and really allow for them to do so. And I feel with these moon cycles, like these moons often carry like a mysterious energy sometimes or like a hidden, there's an, there's a hidden message or there's like something that is waiting to come to the surface that you don't see just yet. And that's like the mysteriousness of the, and we make that mysterious. Like we don't see that yet. Okay. So that implies mis mystery. What if we just, you know, decided instead that we just haven't allowed it to shine its, its light, however dark it is. We haven't allowed it to just come up to the surface. And I see like Aquarius is like you have this flower, you have this rose sitting right in front of your face, and but you're yet you're blindfolded. It's like you're a little bit afraid to step into the so good things are starting to come your way. We have if we follow these moon cycles and if we follow, if we just follow what wants what wants to come up, like what is hidden underneath, your emotions, your memories, whatever wants to come up to the surface and you just continue to allow them to just arise without, with, without, <laughs> as the Canadians would say, in the, in the, in the Canadian countries, without um, judgment or analyzing of what's coming up, just allow it to come up and then just move on, you know, uh, would quite quickly put you in a very elevated, almost empty, freed up space slash place. And, and I even sense that there's like a little, the rose is sitting right in front of your face. And it's like, but I don't want to see it because, because you've kept, you're running the program of your past. I'm sorry for being this blunt and for saying like, this is how it is. And so if you don't want to recognize this just yet, maybe come back and listen to this reading a little bit later. Or if you just feel like th that is just not my story, I'm like this super happiest person in the world and I'm, I'm making the shift and transformation with no problem. This reading probably isn't for you because this reading is for someone that is like feeling a little bit stuck in their past, can't really move past it those those old thoughts just keeps coming up in your mind and that's where it gets stuck like you just keep repeating it in your mind without having that transform and just leave the body so even when the rose is sitting right like smell stop and smell the roses like even even when the rose sits right in front of your face you're not all that interested in it because it's like well it looked like a rose last time too and i don't know where it's going to end so i'm i'm not sure if i'm too interested but I believe because we have, we, I see the rest of the reading, we have choices here. So I see someone that is like left to your own um, demeanor. Like there's a mother and a child. There's a mother and a child. Obviously, this can be a father. It can be um, two children. It's just, it's just a... Um, it's not even a metaphor. It's just an image. It just shows you a situation where I just don't feel the, the feeling of two. We're not being two here. We're being one. One with a child or one with children. And here we have this lady, this woman. She's holding this couple, this unicorn couple in the palm of her hands <clears throat> with birds, geese flying by, like moving to warmer, warmer countries, warmer climate or like going back home and it's like I'm having this couple I'm having this love or I'm having this situation this relationship in the palm of my hand but it's on the move it's moving it's um I'm not sure that it's going to stick or it's going to stick around and it's just going to leave you alone again with your children um, Aquarius and it's choices like you have a choice here we have the grandest moon in the back that is almost like it's on fire it's bleeding it's a bleeding moon it's a blood moon that carries all these memories and i and it's sort of just i just feel like you're you're waiting on yourself Clarice. you're waiting on yourself to just release 
release everything that has been going on up until this point and sort of just I'm not saying this is easy I am not saying this is easy I am I am I've been put through the ringer myself and and it's one thing to intellectually understand that that needs to happen and it's one thing to intellectually understand that it's probably an ongoing process because those thoughts keep coming up or those emotions keep rising every once in a while which means that you it's not dealt with dealt with and dealt with I mean don't look at it don't analyze it don't go to therapy about about it unless you want to but we can also just allow for it to just come up to the surface without judgment and just have it pass through and that was that <clears throat> but sometimes I feel like we can get over because it's probably so much that we have just sort of swept under the rug and pushed down that we don't want to deal with that once we sort of lift that lid or like open that Pandora's box it's like oh what's going to come up here and we think it's going to be such a mess if we just released all of that <laughs> all of that thing that we have like pushed down that we don't really want to deal with it I don't feel that that is the case here it's like you would deal with one thing at a time as it just arises. And it's it's almost like it's waiting to explode here a little bit. So like you would really, really benefit from starting to just release one emotion at a time, one memory at a time. Because underneath it is all the power in the world. Underneath it is all the power in the world. I just... I mean, we have... <clears throat> The two-faced, like one is the wise old man and the other one is the lion. And I just feel like the lion is the one that we see underneath underneath the wise old man. So, of course, you already are the wise old man. It's not like you're asleep or you're not aware of your journey or you're not aware of your emotions or thoughts. Or, you know, you're probably acutely aware of which probably sometimes even frustrates you even more because you know what you need to do and still you can't do it that's really really frustrating um but underneath it all underneath this wise man it's even more power there sits your power and it's waiting to come out I, I feel like it hasn't come out for a while I think it might even be confused with anger like you feel like oh I'm so angry when it's not anger that wants to come up it's power and number eight there represents power and strength it represents <clears throat> endless possibility it represents as above so below bringing heaven into earth i'm going to take this to the extension and see what else i can find there for you to the part two so i understand that there's probably going to be just a few people here today that resonate with this because it's a very specific message um <clears throat> so if you feel like you want to come to the part two of this see if there's any solution see whatever spirit wants you to know um you're so welcome there the link to that, or links rather, is in <clears throat> excuse me, is in the description box down below. Go check it out, see whatever fits you better. Um, if not, Aquarius, thank you so much for watching these videos with me. I highly, highly appreciate it. Uh, happy full moon, super moon, and uh, Lionsgate, everyone. Bye, guys.